Hey guys, Eric Duckman. So, over a month ago, Girl Writes What and I posted a challenge to the feminist community here in Edmonton to debate the question, is feminism hate? There haven't been any takers, so I'm just going to launch into my opening arguments here on YouTube. Uh, if anyone, anywhere, wants to take me up on this, you can make opening arguments of your own uh, as a video response to this video. Here we go! Is feminism hate? Now, I realize that there are a lot of different kinds of feminism, so I don't want to be unfair and paint them all with too broad a brush. The only kind of feminism I find hateful is that one specific kind alleging that women currently get, or have historically gotten, the short end of the stick. That women, as a class, have been shortchanged, oppressed, marginalized, subjugated, or othered. Whatever kind of feminism that is, that's the one I believe to be hateful. I have no quarrel with all the other kinds of feminism that don't operate on that presumption. I don't deny that women had very stressful, onerous social obligations in the past. I don't deny that women got the right to vote only after all men did. I don't deny the existence of the practice of Chinese foot binding or tribal Afghani women being made to stay indoors their whole lives. I fully acknowledge those things, but my contention is that those things don't amount to oppression and that men were not and are not having an easier time or enjoying any kind of male privilege. That's right. Those women's issues I just mentioned? Feminism presents those in a vacuum. Men have historically and still currently have obligations and constraints as well. The draft, the expectation to give up your seat in a lifeboat, and a total lack of reproductive rights are just a few examples. All of the obligations and, and sacrifice and suffering of men has to be ignored, downplayed, or dismissed in order to support the narrative that women have it or even have had it worse. When you ignore, downplay, or dismiss one's suffering and sacrifice, you ignore, downplay, or dismiss their humanity, and that is hate. Feminists point out that men earn more income as evidence of their claim that women are second-class citizens. When I was born, my mom quit her job to stay at home and look after me. My dad took on a second job to support the three of us. For every two paychecks he took home, my mother took home none. To look at that situation and see the man as being privileged and empowered on the basis of the income he's generating is to ignore his sacrifice and his suffering. It is to ignore that he's working his ass off at two jobs to support a family he almost never gets to see. That ignorance is intentional. It is employed to support a narrative of female subjugation, and it is hate. Feminists will also point out that most people in power, such as politicians and CEOs, are mostly male. That must be evidence that men, as a group, have it better than women, right? Well, no. Again, to look at that and conclude that men, as a group, are benefiting is to isolate one very specific variable and make it a bigger deal than many, many others. Men are the vast majority of the homeless, the vast majority of suicides, the vast majority of the incarcerated, the vast majority of murder victims, and the vast majority of accidental workplace fatalities. Yeah. Most people in, pos in positions of power are men, but that's still a really small fraction of all men. Making them out to be a bigger deal than all those other, much larger, sections of the male populace to support a, a narrative of female subjugation is hate. Many of my contemporaries in the men's rights movement have made a point of saying that most women who identify as feminists probably don't hate men. In this video, I haven't said that any one single feminist hates men. I have identified certain beliefs to be hateful. Whether holding a hateful belief makes a person hateful or simply misguided, I'll leave up to you. But I will say this. If you don't want to run the risk of being seen as hateful, then maybe feminism is something you should publicly disown. Because feminism is hate.